Galnet News Update, 3rd of November 3309. Azimuth Biotech has warned against releasing Thargoid abductees back into society until it has been given a chance to study them. Many thousands of those abducted by the Thargoids and held as prisoners on the Titan motherships have been rescued since the subsurface extraction missile became available at the start of October. Despite appearing perfectly normal after they are revived, those rescued have been kept under strict medical quarantine and under military guard. However, Alliance Deputy Prime Minister Angela Corcoran announced today that she will be relaxing restrictions with rescued prisoners at facilities in Alliance space granted permission to receive visitors and allowed access to the galaxy's data and information networks. Quarantine conditions will be maintained for now, but it sounds likely that the Alliance is preparing for the eventual rehabilitation into society of its patients. Corcoran suggested that she believed the Federation and Empire would follow the Alliance's lead soon. It is this relaxing of restrictions that concerns Azimuth Biotech. Its head of medical research, Nassim Kadir, argues that the returnees should not be treated like normal people until they have been subjected to a barrage of scientific assessments to eliminate the possibilities that they might be vectors for a pathogen, that they have not been brainwashed and that they are not sleeper agents who might be activated at a signal from the Thargoids. If the Thargoids went to such lengths to capture living humans, Kadir believes that those humans should be treated with the deepest suspicion and not have their civil rights and freedoms restored until they have been turned over to Azimuth for examination. Only Azimuth, he argues, has previous experience with test subjects with hybrid human Thargoid physiologies. Aegis, which is managing the rehabilitation of those freed from the Thargoids, has not commented on Azimuth's demands.